hello and welcome to my new video in my last video I explained the data structure of ServiceNow which includes tables and fields table fields table relationship and types in this video I will explain the ACLs in which I will demonstrate the access categories operation restriction ACL form and fields ACL rule types and how ACL works so let's start with the access categories ServiceNow uses multiple layers of security to ensure uh, that users interact with the system securely the initial security measure is authentication which require user to validate their identity using credentials such as username and password this authentication process establishes the user's identity before granting access to the ServiceNow instance. Uh, after login, the system controls the visibility of modules and application based on the roles assigned to the user. Each role uh, dictates which modules and application a user can access within the ServiceNow environment. If a user has access to module, then he can also access the uh, records of particular table however those records will only be visible and editable if the user has required access this access for the table and records are based on ACL which is also known as access control list so what is ACL or access control list ACLs are basically the fundamental part of uh, controlling access to the data and functionality within the platform. They are used to specify who can access or modify records, fields or tables in the systems. ACLs in ServiceNow define the rules that uh, determine uh, whether a user has permission to perform a certain action such as read, write, create, delete or update records. ACL is the highest level of security which can be applied at table, table level, record level or row level and then we have field level or column level access. Then operation restriction. ACL operations refers to the various actions or uh, you can say the operations that can be controlled or restricted by ACL rules. These operations uh, typically include create, read, write, delete, execute, uh, edit task relation, save as template, add to list, list edit, report on report view and personalize choices. So create create enable user to insert uh, a new record into a table and read enables user to display records uh, from a table then write write enables users to update records in the table then delete uh, enables user to remove uh, records from a table or drop a table execute applies to the script or business rules allowing or denying execution of specific script based on user permission then uh, edit task relation enable user to extend the task table then if we talk about save as template then it enable user to save record as template then add to list prevents user for, from viewing or personalizing specific column in the list mechanic then list edit enable user to update record from a list then report on enable user uh, to report on tables then report view enable user to uh, report on the field ACLs then personalize choices enable user to configure the table or field so these all are the operations of ACLs which you can also see on the form of uh, ACL then the next is ACL form and fields 
so SCL firm can tend different uh, you can say fields like type operation admin override uh, name of table object required role condition and custom condition so let me open my personal developer instance to uh, see the form of uh, SCL so to create or edit a SCL you must have a, a security admin role but after you have a security admin role then you have to elevate role to the security admin then you uh, you will be able to access the ACL and create or edit the ACL to access the ACL and write ACLs in the navigator then under the sc uh, system security you can find the access control you simply click on this and this open the list of all the ACLs so let's explore the fields of ACL form so this is the form of ACL so the first field is type this type field contain many different options but mostly the admins use the record you can select type of uh, ACL mostly we select uh, record type but we can also use the rest endpoint which is used for integration uh, ACL or other types also we can use and the next one is operation in the operation field it gives the option of all the operation which uh, we also learned earlier so we can select the operation of ACL uh, like uh, execute create read write and we also discuss uh, this in detail earlier the next is admin override checkbox this checkbox always allow the admins to perform the operations uh, regardless of any condition uh, mentioned in ACL uh, that means uh, if it overrides the ACL and uh, the next is name and then this here you can select the name of the table and object like the fields of uh, table and uh, in this you can select the name of the table we can talk about this uh, this part in detail later the next is description in description uh, it uh, that it contains the detail of ACL then ACL provides permission uh, based on three uh, three conditions the first one is roles requires role in which we can uh, define the role which is uh, required to access the permission and then the second one is condition here we can also define the condition that on this uh, on the basis of this condition user can uh, access the object and the last one is custom script uh, if we click on the advanced then we see the script option in custom script we write script if you cannot achieve with the roles and condition so this is the form of ACL and its field then the next next is ACL rule types ACL rule types uh, uh, define the uh, particular element configure for security uh, 
in this uh, which we see earlier uh, like uh, on the form we can select the table name and uh, then dot none then if we select table and steric and then we can select the table and any specific field if we select uh, table dot none uh, if we select table dot none if user matches the condition it denied in this ACL then it can access all the records of table if they don't match condition then they don't have access to the table but if we select table uh, dot steric then user matching the condition access all the fields of that table and perform operation on all fields of the table the last one is table dot field in which we select the name of the table and uh, then define any specific field if we select this then user qualifying the condition can see the field and user who cannot match the condition cannot see the, that field that specific field which we uh, select in uh, the ACL the table name is the table that you want to secure if other table extend from this table then the table is considered a parent table ACL rule for the parent table apply to any table that extend the parent table the field name is the field that you want to secure some fields are part of multiple tables because of table extension ACL rule for field in a parent table apply to any table that extends to uh, extend the parent table record SEL rules are processed in the following order like uh, matching the object against table SEL rules and second is matching the object against field uh, SEL rules this processing order ensure that user can access to more specific object before gaining access to the more general object a user must pass both table and field ACL rules to access a record object if a user fails a table ACL rule the user is denied access to all fields in the table even if the user passed a field ACL rule if a user passes a table ACL rule but fails a field ACL rule the user cannot access the field described by the field ACL rule so this is all about the ACL rule types then the last is how ACL works so with the help of this flow uh, we can understand the working of ACLs if a user request uh, to access an object then the system uh, f uh, check for the any ACL uh, that the system have uh, any ACL matching that object if there is no ACL found then it grant access to the user but if match found or if any ACL found then it evaluate permissions of matching ACL rules it first check that uh, does the user have uh, the role that is defined uh, that, that role that is defined in the uh, ACL if user don't have that role then it deny access to the object but if user uh, user have that role then it check the condition which we define in the ACL and if uh, user fulfill uh, if user cannot fulfill the condition then it deny the access to the object but if user uh, fulfill the condition then it check the script and if the script value return false then it deny the access to the object but if re uh, script value return true then it grant access to the object in this way the ACL actually works in the in service now so that's all about the ACL so before we, uh, I wrap up uh, let's quickly review what I have covered in this session I explored access categories uh, operation restriction ACL forms and field ACL rule types and how ACL works so that's all for this session uh, in my upcoming video I will cover the uh, data imports so that's all for now thank you